storms last night. Yes. I was one of those who woke up without power this morning. Ugh, and she still and she here. came to work. Everybody I would have called in sick. Applause for our Janelle. <laughs> I yeah, would have. Sis, what, what would you How be this hair? I need a hair dryer. <laughs> I, this hair is not going to work without. Just, <laughs> this look just doesn't, doesn't happen. Just, just happen. People think I wake up looking like this. You don't? No, oh, I know. It's well, surprising. <laughs> he's an Adonis and the body doesn't happen by itself. I okay, know. Janelle, it's like, just, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yes, more rounds of severe storms. I have to say, testament to uh, the the quality of technology and advance warning that we're now able to give because we haven't heard thankfully as many reports of injuries and i think i would like to think that a lot of that has to do with the fact that we can warn you now and you know that you have to have a safety plan on these days so we still have that threat of some pretty nasty storms here today at the moment though it's quiet generally speaking clearly some action off to the west we don't have to worry about it until this afternoon currently our issue is a little bit of fog and that's the problem for about another hour and change here actually as many as two hours but the sun is going to break back through and that sun will serve us in a couple of ways warming things up again back into the 80s and then allowing us to see fresh rounds of potential for severe storms because it helps to destabilize everything so severe storm potential is generally the window between 3 and 8 p.m. they could linger a little bit later but the storms will begin to weaken from that point forward so that's when the strongest stuff gets in here and then things start to exit Everyone's basically in the threat here today. Thankfully, it's not enhanced, but ah, you're still talking about some pretty heavy duty storms rumbling through during this time. So it's almost like a habit now that we're on day three of this. Make sure you're checking back with us just like you have for the last two days to stay safe. 70 is the current temperature at the airport. Calm as can be. It won't stay that way. Later on today, we hit 84 with the severe storms returning. Finally, a break. It's not very long, but we get one tomorrow and through a good portion of Saturday.